G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to episode seven in our series into Australia's 10 most invasive species. Now, this week's species is one that you're not gonna be surprised to see on the list. Everybody's expected it, but I reckon a few people would have waited until it was number one or two, but it takes fourth place in Australia's list of most invasive species. So stick around, guys. This one shouldn't be any surprise. <laughs> In fourth place, for our most invasive species comes the feral cat. Now, the cat is something that gets people's backs up all the time when you talk about it because people love their cats. And look, I get it, but the cat is the fourth most invasive species in the country. Now, like a lot of invasive species, the cat arrived here pretty early on. Cats were brought to Australia during the first fleet, 1788, but recently there's become some evidence that cats may have even been here a little bit earlier than that. When Dutch explorers were shipwrecked in northern and western Australia, small numbers of cats were introduced that way. But when you are, people arrived from England and we set up colonies here, cats just took off. They started off living around people's farms, houses, things like this, and we kept them and encouraged them to basically control rodents. As rabbits became an issue in parts of Australia, the government had big programs and landowners deliberately released feral cats, not just pets breeding up, feral cats into very remote areas. And before long, cats had spread over the entire mainland of Australia. In fact, there's reports when European explorers started moving into the centre of the country that cats had actually gotten there before them. They'd bred up on the eastern part and the southern part of the country where they were released on big farms and then moved into the centre of the country before Europeans even got there. Meaning that they've had an impact that we've never actually truly got to experience the untouched central Australia before cats arrived. Today, it's estimated that there's between two and six million feral cats across the country. And this is in addition to the three million or so pet cats who still eat native wildlife, whether or not we want to admit it. So cats pose a massive risk. Now it's estimated that one feral cat will kill about 740 native species a year. So when you multiply this by two to six million, it's little wonder that cats have been implicated in 22 mammalian extinctions since 1788. Now, if it's not enough that cats are eating native Australian wildlife all across the country every night of the year, cats pose a second major risk to our wildlife, and that is that they can carry a disease. They carry a parasite called toxoplasmosis. Now, it's estimated that in islands like Tasmania and Kangaroo Island, as many as 84% of cats carry this parasite, and it is found all across mainland Australia. And what this parasite does is it lives inside cats, but when it's ingested by other animals, particularly marsupials, they can simply die. Eastern barred bandicoots, within two to three weeks of ingesting, contracting toxoplasmosis, often simply pass away. Personally, I've had koalas at zoos I work at, catch toxoplasmosis from feral cats out on gum plantations, and pass away in our hands, and there's nothing we can do. Wombats, wallabies, quokkas, dazzyurids like quolls, they all face this risk from toxoplasmosis. And it's not just that toxoplasmosis can kill things. If a marsupial, if an animal is lucky enough to survive catching toxoplasmosis, toxoplasmosis, the parasite itself, has a really interesting, fascinating, and kind of gross, weird way of replicating itself. And that is that to survive, to reproduce, it wants to get back into a cat. And to ensure it gets back into a cat, it induces risk-taking behavior in whatever its host is. It basically reduces its fear of predators. So we now know that small animals that catch toxoplasmosis are less inclined to run away when faced by a cat, giving the parasite more of a chance of getting back into a cat and reproducing. So cats kind of create this vicious cycle where they carry this bug, this bug kills a bunch of animals, and uh, the animals that don't get killed get eaten by cats more often. So because of all this, cats are the fifth most invasive species in the country, putting 123 threatened Australian species at risk of extinction. So there we go, guys. The fourth most invasive species in the country in terms of its impact on threatened species is the feral cat, something that has an awful lot of people in the pro and the anti-cat brigades, but it's one that nobody's surprised to see on the list. It has a very, very significant impact on a lot of Australian species. Now, I hope you did enjoy the video and you've learned something. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like us on Facebook, and uh, check on back because we've got a bunch of these other videos so far. But make sure you stick around because next week, we're getting really close to the top. We're into the top three 
of Australia's top 10 most invasive species. So check on back next week. But between now and then, thanks for watching. Have a good one and take care.